Hearts is a nonprofit organization dedicated to spreading awareness about the issues and solutions our world faces about the environment um, and preserving oceans and waterways um, and inspiring people to uh, be more environmentally aware through artwork. Our, our slogan is Monumental Art for Sea Change. We're trying to save the world by uh, by putting really great artwork out there. You know, I think we're starting to inspire people. Our blog is getting people reading about uh, artists who are taking a stand, say, you know, uh, saying something about the environment. So I think right now our impact has mostly been just inspiring people, but in the future, you know, we plan on having classes and educational programs for people to really learn about how they can make a difference. I would say our, our most helpful partner um, is the Boston Harbor Shipyard and Marina, uh, who gives us this space. Um, and without them, none of the things that we are that we do here at Harbor Arts would be possible. Dan Noonan uh, who runs the shipyard is a very he's a visionary, and um, you know when when he waves his arm, he makes things happen for us. So uh, so big thanks to the Boston Harbor Shipyard and Marina for for making Harbor Arts possible. I really liked two different pieces, and in my opinion, they were very contrasting. Um, the first piece was Celeste by Derek O'Reilly, and um, I couldn't really tell what it was. It's an abstract piece, but to me, it looks like the end of a fish tail. I appreciate it because of its subtlety. It doesn't scream conservation. The second piece is completely different. Usually, winning art piece has text, whereas predominantly text comes off as ineffective. However, the bold, stark white text juxtaposed with all the debris and natural elements that washed up onto Furman's piece really worked. I think, although the message is obvious, it looked beautiful in the murky water. So I, there were two sculptures that I really liked. They're kind of on opposite ends of, I guess, the artistic spectrum. One, I just, I really liked it for the form, um, and it was this, it was steel, and it was, it was like a mermaid, but an octopus. And the way the pinnacles and the way it flowed was very, very nice. And the other one I really, really liked was uh, Hazards of Modern Living, which was a little more of a, or a little more, you can kind of chuckle yourself with it. Uh, they had all these caution signs and they're like ridiculous things on it, like caution, and it has like this guy with a fork in his back, and then there's a, there's a bunch of others that are hidden around the seaport, um, which you don't necessarily like pick up on right away. So my uh, favorite art pieces um, were actually two, and they're right next to each other. Uh, it was one that was like a buoy uh, that the artist had found in Maine, and he made some really intricate like, welding designs into it and made the whole thing hollow. The movement um, of the welding of pieces around the huge buoy were really kept your eye flowing throughout the whole art piece. Um, and then the second art piece that I really liked was uh, something very, very similar, but he took a huge uh, saw from a manufacturing plant in North Carolina and brought it all the way up here and did the same sort of similar movement ar around the saw. And I think it's really interesting and really awesome that he was able to take something that was not really used well, not really used um, the right way, and he really made it into a work of art and really, really interesting to look at and something for everyone. My favorite piece that's in the gallery is one of our newest pieces, probably. It's the uh, the miner, and it's at the front entrance, and it's kind of a lot of people don't notice it when you first walk in, but if you look to your right when you're when you're entering the shipyard from Marginal Street. Look to your right, there's a miner sitting in a shack eating an ice cream.